Hello! Today, I'm going to be reviewing every pair of breeches I own. There are definitely at least 20 pairs of pants here. Yes, that is outrageous, and no, I should not have so many pairs, but I do. Now, in no specific order, here's all my breeches. These are the horsewear Merrill technical pants or something. They're like hybrid breeches, so they're half riding tight, half breech is kind of the idea. They have belt loops, but no zipper, no buttons, and they have like leg pockets. They're not super stretchy, which I was disappointed about because like, because they're supposed to be like hybrid and half riding tight, I thought they'd be stretchy, but they're really not. These are an old pair of Pacures. I got them from a friend of mine who had had them for like forever. And what kind are they? Does not say. Your guess is as good as mine. They're just like an older style. They're low rise, which I don't love, but they're super comfy. And I, I love these. I love them. Those pants would be ones that I wore on a regular basis, except they're low rise. So I can only wear them on days when I'm feeling pretty confident because I rely on high rise to bring my confidence up. This is a pair of Iridian or I ride on, I don't really know how to say the brand, but they're just tan side zips. I got these when I did my first show with Pasta and the Hunters. I do like them. They're pretty low rise, which again, don't love, but the material is super comfy. They have a cute pattern on the knee grips. And honestly, if they weren't low rise, I would wear them all the time, but because they are, they're just not my favorite. These ones and the next pair I'm going to show you are from Cavalleria Toscana, which is like that outrageously expensive Italian brand. If these weren't given to me by a friend because she didn't want them anymore, I would not have these because they are outrageously expensive. And for the price, I would not buy these pants. If these pants were like $150, $150, I would buy them. But for like $300, they are absolutely not worth it. That said, I would not buy any pair of pants for $300 because I think that's ridiculous. The... Knee grips are like cracking and they're not all that spectacular. Again, for 100 or 150, I would totally buy them. For 300, I would not. And then same thing goes for these ones. These are the exact same pants, but in navy. And again, they're cute. They're decently comfy, but for $300, not worth it. These are the Solid Citizen Bella breeches. They're really, really cute. I got them on Poshmark and they're literally so cute. They come with this wide waistband belt. They have cool looking silicone knee patches. They're literally so cute, but the material is the worst thing I've ever felt in my entire life. They're like, you can literally hear it. I also got these on Poshmark. These are the Godo Alara breeches, which I had wanted for forever, and I found them on Poshmark, and I was so excited, but then I didn't do my research, and they are the lowest rise pants I've ever put on my body and I absolutely hate them. The material is cool, they're, they're comfy, but they're so low rise that I can't bring myself to wear them. So these and a couple other pairs are going to be going to the Tried Equestrian to resell because I, I hate them. I wanna love them, but I hate them. This is another pair that I wanna love, but I absolutely hate. This is a pair of horse breeches. I got them on Amazon. They're literally so cute. Like, so cute. And they have this cool butt grip and then a knee patch. So it's not like a full grip, but you have grips on your butt. And they're so cute. They have the rise that's like a little higher in the back to help with gapping. They're literally so cute, but the material is so itchy. I don't know if it's just me. I don't know if I'm like allergic to it. But within an hour of wearing them, I want to itch my legs off. Next, I have my trusty tailored sportsmans. You know I love these pants. These are like this cute light blue color with these tan patches. Then I have the blueberry colored ones. I have the same pair, but in like a brown color. These ones are the traditional lower rise tailored sportsmans, which I used to wear all the time. But then I discovered the mid rise ones, which I like way more. And I have one pair of those. I used to have three pairs of them, but I wore them so much that they ripped like in the inner thigh area. And I just, I had to get rid of them because if I tried to fix them, they would have just opened up again. These are the mid rise ones. The color is honestly not my favorite, but I bought them like from somebody and this was the only option. Like it's fine. It's neutral. It's fine. But like, it's kind of a little ugly. Also, I apologize if you can hear children screaming. 
Um, I'm not holding anybody captive, I promise. That probably sounds suspicious. There's a park across the street from my house and there are children screaming. I have two pairs of the Aztec Diamond leggings. This pair I got from Aztec Diamond, this pair I got off of Poshmark. I really like these. I don't wear them to ride just because I don't like riding in leggings. I feel like it's slippery, I don't like it, but I really love them on days when like I'm just going to the barn to work like on Mondays I don't ride I just do like Magna Wave and other stuff I don't ride so I really like these for that and I also love these just to wear like when I go grocery shopping I wear these and when I go see Beckham because he's out in pasture so we go see him once a week and I wear these I just think they're so comfy and they're cute and also they make my butt look good I have two pairs of Smart Pack Hadley breeches. I don't like the Pipers, but I really like the Hadleys. These are the curvy fit ones. They have a high waistband, which is why I really love them. They're a little big on my butt because I, I'm not really curvy, but I love the waistband so much that like I deal with it. And they're a really comfy technical material and they're very breathable. And then I have a pair of the basic Hadleys. I really like these. They're not quite as high-waisted as I would like, but I do really like them. They're nice. They're the same material as the curvy ones, and I think they look nice. They feel nice. I can wear them all day comfortably. These are the Palm Nelly breeches. You've probably seen these on your Instagram. I got them off of Poshmark. I have such mixed feelings about these. So they're so comfy. Like, I love them, and they look so cute. They look so nice, but they're not super durable. I have a button that fell off of one of the back pockets. The full seat is wearing pretty good, and the butt is definitely thinning. So I have, like, very mixed feelings on these. That said, the price point is pretty good. They're, like, 110 120 new, and I only paid, like, 50 for these because they were on Poshmark. So, you know, for the price, I do think they're really good. They look so cute. They're so comfy. They are by far my favorite looking breeches I own. And honestly, probably the comfiest pair I own. But they just don't wear very well. These are the American Equus breeches. I'm pretty sure these are, like, newer. Like, I think they just launched these not too long ago. I think they're super cute. They look really nice. The knee grips are their logo. And they go a little higher up, so it's a little grippier. I'm not a full seat kind of girl. Like, given the option, I will choose knee patch. But I do like that these are a little grippier. And the silicone material also is very grippy. They have very comfy sock bottoms. And I just think they look really nice. Like, they look basic enough that they don't draw attention. But they make you look good. They are classic looking. I, I love them. They're $150 which is a tricky, I feel like a tricky price point because they're a little higher than the cheaper breeches you can find, but they're also not really considered expensive. They were a little bit of a stretch for me personally, like that's quite a bit of money for me, but for some people that's like a cheap pair of breeches. So I don't know, they're kind of like in the middle, but I do really like them. And honestly, if I ever decide to splurge on a pair of breeches for myself, I'll probably buy another pair of these. I have two pairs of these Premier Equine Casa breeches. These ones are new with tags because I bought them and have not had a show since I bought them, so they've just been sitting. And then I also have the exact same pair of pants, but in navy. They're all right. They've got a full seat, which is very sticky, which I do appreciate for dressage because in the test that I do on pasta, I'm doing second and third level on him right now, so I do have to sit. The material, if you get sweaty in them, does get a little bit itchy. But I think they look nice. I think, like, the price point was really good. I want to say they were, like, $60. For show breeches, they're good. Like, if they're pants I have to wear for, like, two, three hours, I'll like them for that purpose. For all day with, like, the navy ones, I'm not the biggest fan. I have these pores breeches. They're all right. I like the accent here. I think it's nice. It's navy, so when I wear it with a navy coat, I think it looks really good. But they fit a little funky. They definitely run big. 
and I just feel like they're not a very flattering fit. Like in the try-on clip, you'll see. They're just not the most flattering, but the material is super comfy. These ones are a knee patch. The silicone is cute. It's little snaffle bits. They don't wash very well. These are stained, and I cannot get the stain out. I don't love them, but like I can wear them, and I don't hate them. Staying on the trend of show breeches, this is another pair of horse breeches. I really just bought them because they have like a floral pattern on the pocket and on the full seat, which I think is super cute. I like them. I like the little accents. They would probably be my favorite pair of show pants, but they're a little bit see-through, so that's not ideal. I guess I'll just go through the rest of my white pants now while we're here. These are just the Tailored Sportsman low-rise pants, just in white. Love these pants. They're definitely my favorite. The zipper does fall down on these though, and it doesn't do that on any of my other Tailored Sportsman, so I think this is just like a weird fluke. So I had to put a little rubber band. This is just like a hair tie and I tied it and then cut it. Um, and then I put it around here. Then I have this pair of white Pacures. They're a similar material to the Tailored Sportsman, but they're slightly higher rise. And I just love them. Like I think they look so classic. They look so nice. These also wash absolutely fantastic. I have worn these to show in probably three or four times already. And look, they still look pretty brand new everywhere. My last pair of whites are these RJ Classics ones. These are actually children's breeches. They're like the biggest size in child sizes and they were cheaper. Materials are right. I'm not the biggest fan of the RJ Classics material. I think it's a little itchy. I just don't really love it. And these also don't wash well. They're permanently stained. The next pair I actually honestly completely forgot I had. These are the Whores Terra breeches. They're like insanely high-waisted. They have four buttons on the front, which is why I bought them. Also, I got them on Amazon and I think they're like $80, which is pretty good. They have these cute back pockets. They're like cotton material, which isn't my favorite because it's not super breathable, but I can live with it. I like the color. It's like a nice just plain brown color and it does go with a lot of outfits. I do prefer these for days when I'm mostly teaching and not riding so much. I feel like for riding they're honestly a little too high-waisted like when you sit down they get very high up so on days when I'm like teaching more than riding I'll wear these now I just have two more pairs of tan breeches well actually three but two of them are exactly the same these are the same RJ classics children's breeches as the white ones just in tan and then I have two pairs of tailored sportsman side zip tan breeches side zips are not my favorite but I got these from a friend who was selling them because she doesn't show anymore and they were very cheap and they're tailored sportsmen so I love the material I think they look really nice I just I'm not a side zip girly so that is now every single pair of breeches I own I hope you guys enjoyed thank you for watching I will see you next time I love you all have a great day